Good morning, everyone, and I want to welcome you to our recognition and award ceremony for the year 2021. My name is Steve Yegley, and I'm Assistant Vice President for Canvas and Student Life here at Andrews University. And today we're gathered just to recognize the marvelous achievements of you, our students, uh, throughout the, this year. And we know that it's, it's been a difficult one in many ways, challenging one, but you have not stopped achieving and we wanna recognize that today. Uh, just as a reminder that uh, if you'd like co-curricular credit for uh, attending today's session, uh, you can receive that at the end of the session. I will put up the easy check me code and uh, we'll make certain that uh, your presence here today is recognized. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I would just like to take a moment and begin our session with prayer and then we'll get underway. Uh, please bow your heads with me. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us through this school year. You have been very gracious to our campus, to each one of our students, and for that we thank you. And we pray that as we uh, pause today just for a moment to recognize the achievements of our students, uh, that they will feel affirmed and know that uh, it is you who has carried them all this way. So as we uh, uh, now gather to um, say thank you to our students and thank you to you, uh, we pray that your Holy Spirit will be here amongst us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so we're going to uh, proceed uh, through the program. I, I did send that to each one of you, so if you'd like to follow along uh, there wherever you are, uh, you can open up the PDF attachment that we sent to you just uh, about a half hour ago. Uh, if not, uh, everything will be announced uh, right here from the screen. So uh, without further ado, let me uh, introduce our, uh, our first presenter. And this will be Dr. Emmanuel Rudisakira from the College of Health and Human Services. He is the Dean there. Uh, so uh, Dr. Rudisakira, please uh, unmute yourself and we'll begin awarding the first students. The College of Health and Human Services Outstanding Student Award for Excellence in Academics, Services and Leadership is awarded to uh, one student in each school within uh, uh, the college. And the criteria for this leadership um, award is to, to have a minimum of 3.5 GPA and to have excelled in the service to the community and also to have excelled in leadership among their peers and also in their professional organizations. I'm the um, Dean of the College of Professions and the Associate Provost. And um, our highest undergraduate business award is the Excellence in Business Award. And this goes to Kyle Archibald. We're very proud of him. Our next presenter is Dr. Jerry Chi. He's the Associate Dean and Director of the MBA program. On behalf of College of Professions, I would like to present the highest academic award uh, for our MBA graduate program. Uh, this program actually is going to students uh, who are really have a dedications in graduate education. Uh, the recipient of this award are chosen to be based on the out outstanding academic service and professional contributions uh, to our graduate program in the School of Business. Uh, they have the exceptional ability, uh, passion, and influence to uh, contribute to the uh, success of the classmate professions, uh, professors, and programs as the whole. Okay, so we'd like to present this one to Eric Wang. Uh, Eric Hongzhou Wang. He's one of the best students in our MBA program. Okay, I would like to um, announce the Outstanding Airframe and Power Plant Award. And this goes to Andrew, Ru Andrew Rupert. And the next award is the Outstanding Flight Student Award. And this goes to Christopher Wilson. 
Our next presenter is Mr. Bill Wolfer you know, from the, the chair of the computing department. Uh, yes, uh, this uh, award is Certificate for Outstanding uh, Academics. Uh, it goes to Patrick Brown, Benjamin Reitman, Christian Sanchez, Solomon Kim, Michael Lee, Jonathan Schwedlow, and Trevor Hunter. Congratulations. Uh, the next presenter is Ariel Salas from the School of Architecture. Yes, today we have a few students who have won awards here at the School of Architecture. The first one is from the American Institute of Architecture, the Southwest Michigan Design Award. And this recognizes and publicizes excellence in architecture, bringing to the public's attention outstanding work completed by architects in Southwest Michigan, encouraging good design for sustainable projects within the local community. This year was done given to Jason Show. Congratulations. The next one, it's an Alpha Rokaya Award. It's award to a graduating senior who has shown ability for leadership, perform willingness to service to the school and department, and give promise to a real professional merit through their attitude and personality. And this year, the recipient for the Alpha Rokaya Award is Ronesto Pineda. Congratulations. Third one is the Henry Adams Medal of Merit. And this is from the American Institute of Architecture Awards. Engrave a medal to the top ranking graduating student for the general excellence in architecture. And the recipient for this year is Joel Soto. Congratulations. Um, the next person that's coming up is the chair from the Department of Social Work, Dr. Curtis Vanderwall, and he's the chair. Uh, before uh, Dr. Vanderwall comes on, um, I would like to uh, go ahead and read the names uh, from the College of Health and Human Services. Dr. Rudit Sakura just uh, overlooked uh, that detail. So for the Outstanding Student Award for Excellence in Academic Service and Leadership uh, from the School of Architecture and Interior Design, we have Rue Avalona. From the School of Communication Science and Disorders, Isabel Diaz from the School of Nursing, Jessica Newkirk from the School of Population, Health, Nutrition, and Wellness, Jessica Grzybowski from the School of Rehabilitation Sciences, Hannah Patterson from the Department of Medical Laboratory Science, Brent Lapore. But, uh... From the College of Professions, and that, that would be it for the College of Health and Human Services. Uh, so thank you to each one of those uh, individuals for your hard work. And now uh, Dr. Vanderwall uh, will come and present his awards. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I have two people who are going to receive awards from the National Association of Social Work, Michigan, West Michigan chapter, um, social work, school social work of the year award. We have one student, Sarah Riedel, who is receiving our BSW award. And we have David Springer, who is receiving our MSW award. We're very proud of both of them. They have um, exceeded in scholarship as well as in um, service and um, doing outstanding work in the community. So we're just very proud of them and um, congratulate them on their award. And I will now introduce Margarita Mattingly, who is the chair of the Department of Physics to give out the physics awards. The Physics Excellence Awards totaling $35,500 today are funded by endowments donated by Andrews Physics professors to recognize academic achievement and tenacity and encourage continued perseverance in physics-related studies, applications, and careers. 
Award checks are usually given on the stage, but under this year's COVID-19 circumstances, they will be credited directly to student accounts as was necessary last year. Awardees will pick up their award certificates and books at the physics office this afternoon and throughout this week. The first award is the Virgil and Virginia Kincaid Physics Excellence Award. It was endowed by Robert and Lillis Kingman in honor of Mrs. Kingman's parents whose legacy it represents. The chair emeritus and his wife wish to monetarily acknowledge students likely to advance in physics and serve the wider community. This year's awards range from $1,000 for freshman biophysics and biomedical physics majors and $2,000 for sophomore biophysics and biomedical physics majors. Congratulations to Josiah Deonarin and Maya Sukumaran and Coulter Sukumaran, Chloe Gavan and Yoel Kim. The second award is the Julian Thompson Excellence Award that was endowed by Bruce Lee, former director of Physics Enterprises in honor of the first Andrews Physics Chair in 1938. It recognizes talent, ambition, and academic success that lead into notable lifetime careers in physics. This year, five students are pursuing BS physics degrees and performing strongly. Congratulations for their $3,000 awards. Jonathan Holman, Noah Koliadko, Wesley Martin, Alexander Navarro, and Kara Shepard. The third award is the Donald Snyder Excellence Award, and it was endowed by Bruce Lee in honor of physics chair Donald Snyder to recognize performance and potential for a successful career in non-medical science. This year, the awards range from $1,500 for freshmen and $2,000 for sophomores and seniors. And congratulations go to Josiah Katsurin, Kelvin Lim, Manoa Vandervelt. The Bruce Lee Excellence Award is reserved for students who are looking forward to dedicating themselves to teaching. This year, the award will be $3,000 for a very talented physics student who wishes to specialize in teaching. Congratulations, Lisa Johnston, senior physics major. The Brent Bills Pat on the Back Award is a very interesting award introduced by one of our alumni wanting to encourage diverse engagement in physics studies. This year, this H award is worth $1,000. Congratulations to Ashley Ramos, a sophomore minor specializing in exercise science, and Saul Marcelo Zunidia, a senior exhibiting special persistence in applying himself to physics. We have a head of the class award that is not monetary. Uh, however, it has significant uh, items like books that uh, commemorate this competitive award. Uh, these are the head of the class awards for uh, full year uh, sequences. And uh, Venezia Venegas is the head of the class for general physics. And Noah Koliadko and Alexander Navarro share kudos for the physics for scientists and engineers. The AAPT Teaching Assistant and Learning Assistant Awards are national awards by the American Association of Physics Teachers, recognizing the students who show special expertise in supporting students in laboratory work and maximizing their physics learning. It is not a monetary award per se, but includes valuable memberships and recognition in the local media. Congratulations to Lisa Johnston, and Devin Garcia, physics and physics studies majors, respectively, and Sable Kessler, a graduate student in secondary education. The next presenter will be Hyun Kwan, chair of the Department of Engineering.
Engineering Excellence Award are given to graduating senior students who have a demonstrated academic excellence in engineering curriculum. This award goes to Jeremy Ahn, Vitaro Jacobson, Colleen Stanijewski, Federico Victor, Edgar Sanchez, Jeremy Barrett, and Joseph Taylor, and Joshua Lim. Congratulations. We have another award. Circle Engineering Award is Endowed Scholarship, which is established by Mrs. and Dr. Thomas Jerko, who support advanced research, theory, and practice in engineering fields. This award is given to junior engineering students who has strong interest in research and plan to pursue graduate study. This award goes to Josiam Beria. Congratulations. The next presenter is Dr. Luxpan, the president of Andrews University. Good morning, everybody. And congratulations to everyone who has been receiving, been receiving awards today. Uh, I'm going to introduce a very uh, special award. It's called the Veniger uh, Fellow Student Scholarship. Uh, it's a national award, and it is only given to one Andrews student annually. And the recipient must exhibit excellence in scholarship, as well as leadership in service. And this year's recipient exemplifies this excellence. Uh, he is a student in our Bachelor of Music program. And to give you an example, in addition to his engagement in his own studies, he's been serving as the president of the Institute of Young Musicians for Christ, which has the mission of creating music ministers. Uh, through this institute, he teaches and mentors younger composers, as well as helping to organize music schools and ministry programs. Um, and he does all that on, on top of a, a heavy uh, program. Uh, the award is $750, and it's matched by another $750 from the university. But even more important than this, this is a prestigious award, which looks uh, great on a resume. Our recipient is Daniel Suchov cherna Congratulations, Daniel. And uh, now we are going to move to leadership awards. And the first one we will be presented by Rob Gettis. It's my privilege to present athletic awards for this year. Uh, the first, first awards I have to present go to student athletes within the Cardinal Athletic Program. And they have had, COVID has struck an interesting uh, blow to our program this year with no games being able to be played, but they are student athletes. And so the first awards go to players from the men's and women's Cardinal basketball program that were able to meet the United States Collegiate Athletic Association national all academic qualities. They had a GPA of 3.5 or better. And the, the award recipients for the women's team are Katie Bird, Macy Chen, Delilah Drew, Amber Kwan, and Sarah Page. And on the men's Cardinal basketball team, we have three award winners. They are Adam Castle, Maxwell Dronin, and Owen Fainer. Congratulations to the eight Cardinal athletes who qualified this year for this prestigious award. Our next athletics award goes to the Intramurals Sportsman and Sportswoman of the Year. Intramurals has been a lot of fun this year. It's been a great break to get away from the, the quarantining and, and the shutdown of so many things and to be able to play sports with friends. And it is with great honor that I'm able to give these two awards out this year to students from Andrews University who played the game the right way. They had a great attitude. They played hard. They had fun. And they were really good sports. So the Sportsman of the Year Award this year goes to Sang Yap Han. And the Sportswoman of the Year Award goes to Natalie Batras. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for being a good example to all of us. And the final awards that I have the privilege of awarding today go to 
two gymnics. Our gymnics normally travel all around and perform and take the message of the gospel and of great acro all around Michigan and the United States. This year, they were quite limited in what they were able to do. Most of it was just done uh, virtually. But nonetheless, we had great leadership. And Coach Paddock is just very proud to be able to present the Brian Curry Leadership Award this year to two outstanding individuals that have shown and demonstrated these leadership qualities, initiative, and seeking for excellence on the mats. And the award this year goes to Elena Petri and Corey Johnson. Congratulations, guys. The next presenter in our program is David Fainer, Vice President for University Advancement. This year we have 37 students who will be recognized for the DeHaan Scholarship. Uh, I won't mention all their names, they're in the program, but I just wanted to tell you that this scholarship, which was a gift given to the university by the DeHaan family of $1 million 35 years ago, has grown through the years, of course, and as an, an endowment, it's now generated uh, $1.5 million, but in the process, the interest off that every year generates $50,000 to be distributed among these 37 uh, students. So we're very appreciative of that. Uniqueness of the scholarship, it's of this um, scholarship is based on work. It's not based on the GPA of a student, but how well they work as a student worker on campus. And that means an awful lot to us. Congratulations to all of, the, all of you and keep this thing in mind. They put this money and this fund probably before most of you were born thinking of helping somebody at some time and they've done it. Thank you. Our next presenter is uh, Chaplain Jose Bourget, and he'll be here to present our service, our Servant Leadership Award. Chaplain Jose. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being able to share this award. Uh, the uh, two individuals uh, that we're sharing this award with today have been exemplary in a number of ways. Uh, first, I'll start with uh, Jonathan Gross. Uh, Jonathan is an aviation major. Uh, no, sorry, engineering major. <laughs> Those two groups are very similar. Um, and he has been working here at the Center for Faith Engagement for the last three years. Uh, he has faithfully uh, tended to a number of uh, last minute programming details that were offered to him from various student leaders. Uh, he also volunteers uh, regularly and works uh, with our university church. Uh, but, uh, but in addition to that, uh, Jonathan is a really kind person. Um, if you know Jonathan, he's, uh, he's quiet, but he's uh, very thoughtful. Uh, so we've been blessed to be able to work uh, with Jonathan uh, and have him serve uh, behind the scenes. You've never seen him up front, but he has been a part of um, a lot of the programming that happens on Thursday, Friday, and Sabbath. Uh, for the entire time that he's been here. So thank you, Jonathan, uh, for your servant leadership. Uh, the next person uh, is an MSW MDiv graduate, and that is uh, Kayla Carmona. Uh, I had the pleasure of working with Kayla when I first arrived here on campus uh, back in 2011 uh, in my role as associate chaplain. And Kayla was one of our uh, ministry uh, leaders helping out in our weekly outreach to Benton Harbor. Uh, she led a uh, program called Rock, uh, which was uh, children's programming. Uh, and in that, she coordinated all the class activities for 30 to 50, sometimes 60 kids, uh, and had a number of student leaders that she oversaw. Uh, but even uh, during that time, she served for a few years. Uh, she went out, she came back, and uh, has been finishing up her program here and has been uh, supporting us in the office and the campus through our chapel programming, through the creation of the Pulse groups, uh, and just a number of different ways that have been meaningful and impactful uh, to her peer group and to uh, undergraduate students. So we've been really blessed uh, by Kayla and for her contributions uh, over many, uh, many years. Uh, and thank you, Kayla, for all the different ways that you have served. Uh, next, we'll have uh, Kiara Samuels on behalf of the Andrews University Student Association. 
uh, presenting the Spirit of Andrews Award. Hello, my name is Kiara Samuels, president of Andrews University Student Association. And today I will be presenting the Spirit of Andrews Award. So this award is awarded to a student who exemplifies and contributes to the Spirit of Andrews in an outstanding way over the past year. And this award will be going to Timmy Duato, which many of you may know as your friend, the smiling face, the announcer at many programs, or even just seeing him working in the rec center. And we thank you, Timmy, for your positivity and your energy that you have always contributed, and this year that you have helped to contribute to the spirit of injuries. Oh, I think um, that brings us uh, to a close. And um, we can't reflect on the school year uh, without recognizing um, and taking time as the lyrics to an old carpenter song in the 70s said, sometimes, not often enough, we reflect upon the good things and we count the times we have forgotten to say thank you. And so I want to say thank you to all of our student leaders uh, Brandon Williams and Kiara Samuels as they led our student associations to our class officers, our new student mentors, ambassadors, our student chaplains, our PMC, New Life and One Place worship leaders, all of our athletic and gymnastic team participants, all of our RAs, student deans, and leaders of our 60 or 70 student clubs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many times um, individuals uh, reflect on their college years and bemoan the fact that they didn't get involved and uh, use their gifts to the degree that they wished, knowing it was a once in a lifetime experience. And I just want to applaud and praise God for each of you that stepped up and chose to be a leader in um, a very uh, traumatic year. And many of you uh, didn't have to just think about plan B in the pandemic, but had to move to plan C and D and E and F and um, just were totally dedicated and committed to say, God, please, please help me uh, use my gifts for you in this difficult year. So on behalf of Andrews University and all of my colleagues here today, we're in deep gratitude to you and your leadership. And I want to express those thanks to God right now as we close our program this morning. Let's pray. Father, <laughs> It's just so good to know um, that uh, we can reach out to you and know that you hear us. So wherever we are in this world, listening remotely, listening in our residence hall room or in a classroom or an office, we come together, Father, as an Andrews University family thanking you, Father, for how you have led us this year in a very, very uh, difficult time. I thank you for each student uh, that navigated this school year, and I especially pray for them as they uh, have many pressures still ahead to complete and finish strong and finish well. Please, Father, give them um, strength <laughs> and uh, wisdom uh, to finish uh, with uh, your blessing. And may we look around and support each other in these final days of the school year, looking forward, Father, to how you're going to continue to use the gifts and abilities and achievements of our Andrew students to truly uh, change the world for your glory and your kingdom. To that end, we pray, Father. Amen.
All right, and that brings us to the end of our program. I just really want to say thank you to each of you for being here to support uh, your fellow students, to our deans, our directors, our professors who came to present today. And if you are looking for co-curricular credit uh, for attending this program, I'm going to share my screen now and put the easy check me uh, check in uh, on the screen and you can uh, do that as you leave. Thank you and God bless. <laughs>